Hi, welcome to What Katie Said, my YouTube channel. Um, today I am doing my first uh, dressing table diary entry in a really long time um, because my laptop was so slow it couldn't upload anything. But I have a nice shiny new laptop so um, here I am and today I'm going to be creating a daytime look with um, some lovely Avon makeup. I don't see that box there. So I have a selection of different things that I'm going to use to create um, just a daytime look um, and I'm going to be doing a nighttime look um, in another, another vlog. Um, the reason I'm doing it is following on from um, a post on my blog, um, a Christmas makeover. Um, I am making it a New Year's resolution to take more care of myself, um, including wearing makeup. I know makeup isn't for everybody, but it makes me feel better. So my New, new, new Year's resolution is to uh, wear a little bit of makeup every day um, but I am bringing that resolution forward um, it's forward isn't it not back forward uh, to Christmas because I want to look nice over Christmas so it's a Christmas makeover with Avon so without further ado let me show you some of the things now the first thing is um, I have already got um, some foundation um, on of my own um, but that's it so we have got the corrector palette which comes in nice black I love black so the fact that all the makeup is black is lovely um, and the corrector palette has got um, a rose colored sort of it's like it's like a cream um, concealer really. The rose is um, for adding natural rosiness to your cheeks. There is a beige colour which is like normal concealer so you'd hide your bags under your eyes. Um, there is an orangey colour which it says is to brighten a dull complexion and then um, the yellow um, which is for redness which I, I have got uh, redness um, and darkening around my nose so I would use the uh, the yellow on that. It comes with a little brush which is nice and soft. Some some makeup that um, you get comes with little brushes and things but um, you know it, the, sometimes the brussels, brussels, bristles are a little bit hard um, so you end up using your own but actually this is lovely and soft so I'm just going to put that around the nose um, just to do that and then I'm going to use the beige colour um, which I'm going to use, I know you're not going to use your finger but I always find I it's easier to put on when you use your finger just to cover up the bags baby kept me awake most of the night last night and so I have suitcases under my eyes so okay so that's just brightened me up a little bit I'm not going to use the the rose or I hopefully don't have a dull complexion um so next um I'm going to use their master collection which I was very excited to receive um, because inside, and look at it, can you see how that slides up? Um, and you have a whole load of goodies in there. So you've got all your blushes and bronzer. You've got a bronzer um, there, and then three different kinds of, of blushes. Apologies for the light, but I'm having to do this <coughs> at night time because I. Uh, I ran out of time in the day, really. Um, and then we've got some neutral colours, eyeshadows, and some lip tints. Um, some reds and some browns and a white 
um, maybe if you were going to accentuate your uh, Cupid's bow. And then you've got all of these um, eyeshadows, turquoise, um, we've got pinks and golds, purples, all any any shade you, you want to mention is there. Um, it does come with a little brush, um, but for me it's just that bit too small, um, so I'm going to use my own brush and I'm going to use for a daytime look um, because I don't don't wear too much makeup in the day um, just a, a light dusting of one of the lighter pinks um, just to add some colour uh, because if I do not wear blusher then I find I look a little bit ill um, so what else do we have? Um, I am going to use probably for a day look. Um, I've got two options. I could use um, a lipstick, a lighter lipstick, but really a um, lipstick for me is more of an evening thing. So um, I've got a lovely, the ultra glaze wear um, lip gloss so I would probably just wear a lip gloss and the day um, and it's it's not too sticky uh, it goes on really nice nicely um, and it just adds a little bit of colour um, and then other than that um, I don't wear full on um, eyes in the day um, but I do always like to um, have a bit of eyeliner just in the outer corners just to give me a little bit of def definition um, and for the day so not as harsh I'm going to use um, the darker um, the black in fact um, eyeshadow and just I'm just going to put that on, on the lashes just to give a bit of definition to my eye because otherwise my eyes tend to go a little bit pokey if I don't if I don't have a bit of liner on them but as I say I wouldn't put proper liner I would just put um, I use eyeshadow in that way um, I do want to just, show, even though I've put the gloss on, I do want to show you this lip crayon um, because I think it's the best thing ever. Um, I don't know if you can see Avon. Oh, there you go. So it's the Avon uh, Avon Ultra Color lip crayon, and I just, if I was inventing or designing a lip crayon, a lip what a lip. Thing, um, I would do it in the design of a crayon because you know we're so used to holding pens and pencils um, you know when you hold a, a lipstick you know you have to hold it by the bottom like that it to me it's not very user-friendly you know the normal style but to hold it like a pencil you know to me is a fab idea so um, I have been using that a lot um, so I definitely can re recommend that and it glides on really nicely so that's something really really nice now the only other thing if I was just staying at home I probably wouldn't put mascara on um, but if I was going out in the day to meet friends or something I definitely would put a little bit of mascara on um, just to open my eyes a little bit more um, I don't know if you've seen the adverts um, for Avon's new mascara um, but it's amazing. So this is um, the shape of it, which I have never seen anything like it in my life. If you compare it to a normal mascara, so there's the two. Um, it's, you know, when I first opened it up, I thought, what is this? Um, so when you open it, you pop the lid off and you have got this little thumb grip um, and you have to just wiggle it side to side to release it and then when you take it out it's a bit stiff oh it is that shape so 
if you think non and mascara, you come from the side. I always find it really difficult because you, my arm, you know, my big arms weighing me down. So the fact that you're in front of your eye, I just think that is genius. Um, it's a really lovely mascara. Um, it goes on really nicely. So I'm not very, I've never been good at putting on mascara. Um, but actually this is really quite user friendly. So if you're rubbish at putting it on, same as me, then this can be for you. Um, so that, that's it really. Um, sorry, it's difficult to put it on and look at the camera at the same time. Um, So yeah, it just it's you know it's a similar way of you know if you ever use a eyelash curler, it, you know pushing up on it like that, and then you just click it back in, lid goes back on, and that's it. That's well, you know how to put mascara on, but just the shape of it um, and the design of it, I just think it's really good, and it just goes on really nicely. It's not clumpy. Um, so many mascaras I never get on with. I don't get on either the, with the shape of the brush or the the bristles on the brush or the mascara itself is clumpy. But this ticks all the boxes for me. So um, and that's it. I think so. I've got my eyes. Um, you know, not very heavy. Um, got my blusher. Got my lips. And I'm good to go for the day. So, yeah, that is all. Um, I will be doing an evening look where I will be going through all the eyeshadows and things like that. But just for a basic um, day look, your eye, just basic eyes, bit of blush, bit of lip colour, and you're good to go. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye!